it's Jay. Today's video is going to be a first impressions. I'm excited because I got a package in the mail. I love delivery day, um, but it is a package by a company called Lorga. Do you guys have anything by Lorga? Have you guys ever heard of them before? Um, I've heard of them in the past. I haven't really ever give the, given them a second thought until I was looking for a sandalwood fragrance. Um, I have Santal Magiscule by Sir Vuitton. And that one I like. Um, I went through a process of deciding whether it was something that I was going to keep in my collection or not. But I decided that I can wear it when it's very cold outside. But I want a sandalwood fragrance that is going to give me a little more use and that fits my personality a little bit better. Um, I was watching Veronica from Veronica Says. Hey, Veronica. Um, and she was talking about woody fragrances. She mentioned some that have um, sandalwood, sandalwood in them as well. Um, and I was also watching Marcelina Teresa, hey. And um, she was talking about a fragrance that has peach and sandalwood by Goldfield and Banks. So I was interested in finding a sandalwood fragrance that matched my personality. Um, so I was, you know, typing in notes, trying to figure out what combination I would like. And I came up with a fragrance called, I didn't come up with it, but I found a fragrance by this brand, Lorga, that was newly released and it's called Santal Sugar. Um, it sounded beautiful. Um, there's lychee, there's violet, um, some other juicy notes. I think there's creme brulee, like makes it smooth and sweet. Um, and sandalwood. So my favorite sandalwoods are going to be smooth, can be dry if they're smooth, um, and I need it to be creamy as well if it's not going to be smooth and dry. Um, any mix of those works for me. It needs to be tempered by other notes. It can't be the main note. Otherwise, I feel like it's a little too masculine for my personality. And so hopefully, um, I don't know if it's hopefully because I think these are a little bit expensive. So I, I hope that I like it in a way, but <laughs> in a way, um, maybe I hope that I don't because it's I, I, if I do, I'm going to have to add it. Um, but here is the package. So we're going to cut it open. You guys are going to go through the whole process with me. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So, it um, looks like they come in individually wrapped samples, which is exciting. So, I'll just go... Wow. Um, I'll go through, here's one more, um, that's it. Just go through the different samples with you. So this one is, um, oh, a nice note that they wrote. So it says, thank you for your order. Um, and they give you a discount code. So if you guys are interested in ordering something from Lorga, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, if I'm able to do that, but try discover 20 as a discount code. Um, so yeah, if I like it, I can get 20% off. Um, this first one, this is the one that I've heard of before, Amber Platane. And I think this is Almondy, has some um, amber in it. I'm gonna put up the notes when I, when I edit this video, that way everybody is on the same page because I can't remember exactly right now. Um, but this one is called Moroccan Iris. Sounds like something that I would be interested in as well. Um, Queer Affine. Musk Palawan. I've actually tried Musk Palawan. Um, I'll talk about it when I get to it. This is Santal Sugar. I'm going to try this one first. There's also Oud Ise. Y S S E E with the ac with the accent over the first E. And then there's Nectar Cachet, and I think that this one is another one that I was interested in. So let's get started. Let's get to the one. Oh, this is Rose to Incense. So let's get to the Santal Sugar, because this is the one that brought me here. So let's just open it. And these are cute. It's like a little individual package. The paper is thick. And here is the sample. And I'm just gonna go ahead all out. I'm gonna spray it. I don't have any um, fragrance on now, so I'm gonna spray it on skin. 
and we're gonna travel together. Let's see. Okay, it's a it's fruity, it's fresh at the top. Let's see. So that might be the lychee. Okay, it's a little light. Um, maybe some violet that I'm getting to. A little powderiness. Maybe a little bit of citrus as well, but it's not um, it's not a heavy fragrance so far. Okay, let's let that dry down there. I don't smell any sandalwood so far, um, but let's let it develop a little bit. So that is Santal sugar. It's not too sugary yet. Let's let's wait. Um, let's try the Nectar Cachet. I'm going to go ahead and open it, not tear it. Yeah, so this these are cardboard containers, which is nice. And I'm not sure what the notes for this are. I, I, like I said, I'll put them up for you. Oh, there was no top. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see, Nectar Cachet. Ooh. This one is thicker, definitely. Oh, this one is so thin. I can't smell it well, but this one? Oh, I wonder if there is honey. Oh, there's something thicker in this. Um, oh, I'm not sure. It's sweet. Um, it's sweet. Maybe um, some sort of flower. I, maybe white flower mixed with something a little bit deeper, like maybe nutty. Um, maybe a little bit woody. Definitely sweet. It's It has a brightness to it, though. A deep, bright wood. Some sort of nuttiness. Okay, I'll let that one develop. So that is Nectar Cachet. Um, all right. I'll put them in order. Okay, so the next one is the Amber Platine. Okay, I'm gonna cut it. And I'll spray it here. I get disappointed when it comes out right away. I feel like it's been used before. That's a lighter fragrance too. But I do smell, there's a Feel like there's some nuttiness in this one as well this one it, it's not very bright hmm maybe some nutty sweet nuttiness a little bit of woodiness too okay well let's move on um, let's try the Moroccan iris. Let's see. I like iris because it's a, a powdery flower and I feel like, um, I like powder. Um, and I like, a, a it helps me feel, I get it like a clean, but I want to say classy, maybe elegant vibe when I'm thinking about powders in this way. Um, not baby powder, but you know, floral flat, floral powders or, um, just floral powders, I guess. So this is Moroccan Iris, and I'm going to spray it on this wrist here. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so I get a powderiness. What is that? Like woody? There's something in here I can't identify. Um, powdery, woody, but it's more than that. There might be oh, some fruit underneath somehow. Maybe um, maybe another type of floral that gives a like a juicy vibe or like a a wet vibe.
Interesting. Okay. I, I don't know about this one. I, I know that I can smell some powderiness. I feel like there's some woody, woodiness. Um, but there's something underneath. I can't smell it at the moment. I can't identify it. So I don't know, but we'll come back to it. Let's see what else. Um, the Queer Affine. So queer in French is uh, leather. And I don't know what affine is. Maybe I'll put it up. I'll probably look it up. I always do. Um, but that one I'm going to spray here on my wrist. So this is supposed to be a leather fragrance. Ooh, smoky. Smoky leather. Mm-hmm. Let's let that one develop. That one is pretty strong. I'm, I'm gonna circle back and see. Oh, I feel, okay, I'm getting a little bit more sandalwood, but I feel like the citrus is still there on top, like the lychee, maybe if there's another citrus on top. Um, I still smell it, but the wood is coming through now. Okay, um, this was the, um, let's see, oh, the Nectar Cache. Still strong. I feel like there has to be some honey, but then there's something else. Okay, and then this one was the Amber Platine. I don't smell that one very strongly. Um, I don't know. The Iris, I feel like could be some fruit. Maybe, like I said, a fruity floral vibe underneath. But definitely some iris, some powderiness with it. Um, then there's that smoky leather. Whew. This smells like smoke, like almost like um, barbecue smoke. <laughs> like if you're out or bonfire smoke. Definitely that's a smoky fragrance, okay? Um, we'll come back. The next one, let's try the Oud Issei. This is the Oud Issei. All right. So I'm going to spray it here. Oh, this one's just squirting out. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to kind of spread it with the, <laughs> with the atomizer. Let's see. It's a little stinky, <laughs> a little bit, not prominent, but it's a little bit stinky. Um, kind of something fresh on top too. Um, I don't know, I'll come back to that one. I think I have just one more, oh no, I have, I, okay, I'll spray this one with you. I already know what this one smells like. Um, I'm going to spray, uh, that's the Musk Palawan, but I'm going to spray the Rose de Incense with you guys. Um, the Musk Palawan, uh, I know that I don't necessarily like it because it is like a tropical fragrance. And I don't like, well, I should say beachy. It's like a beachy fragrance. There is musk in it, um, but there are also some florals in it that make me feel... I just don't like beachy florals. I don't like tiara flower. I don't necessarily like frangipani. Um, I don't like coconut. Um, I don't like things that make me feel like that. And so that fragrance definitely has a lot of musk, but there are those, um, those beachy notes in it. So it's like a musky beachy fragrance and it's not my style. I don't, I don't think I'm going to spray it with you on camera. I did just spray it um, not too long ago just to review it to see if I would like it. I try to like coconut because um, I love to eat coconut and drink, you know, drinks that are flavored with coconut or real coconut. Um, but just to smell it, I think that for me, it doesn't translate well in fragrances. I feel like it's kind of plasticky. It just doesn't, I don't know, something about it just doesn't 
sit well with me when I'm smelling it in fragrance. So I'll continue to eat it, continue to drink it, but I don't necessarily want to smell like a coconut or like those flowers that I mentioned, the tear flower or, or the frangipani. So I, I think I'm just going to leave that one alone. And that is my review of, or my uh, opinion about Musk Palawan. So um, this one, like I said, Rose de Incense. Let's go ahead and spray it. I'm going to spray it here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. It's smooth. Definitely rose. A um, little plasticky. Hmm. I get, I get a, it's not a deep dark rose, um, but it's not the freshest like pink rose. It's probably definitely a red rose. Ooh, but there's something coming out. Let's see, it's plasticky. Hmm, I'm gonna come back to that one too, but let's go back um, to the Santal Sugar. I have high hopes for this one. Let's see. Oh. And I know it takes about 30 minutes to an hour for a fragrance to completely dry down, but I feel like it's not strong. Okay, I smell deeply. I'm smelling deeply. There's supposed to be coconut and violet. Um, I'm waiting for the creme brulee. I'm looking forward for the creme, to the creme brulee. Um, it's not here yet. Still get that bright top, um, and the woody the wood is coming out a little bit more. Okay, keep keep trying it, keep smelling. Um, this was the nectar cachet. I think there might be oud in here. Ooh, there's something a little smooth that I didn't smell before. I still feel like there's honey and oud in here. Maybe um. Hmm. I'm thinking there might be red fruits in here. Definitely put it up, like I said. This one is kind of nice. I think I like this one. This is definitely um, stronger than the Santal Sugar. It might be a little stronger, you know, now that I've sprayed it, but I mean, the alcohol is pretty... I mean, the alcohol, the oil content is, is good for these fragrances. Can you tell here? It doesn't translate on camera where I sprayed it here. Maybe there. But yeah, that that one has something creamy, almost. Mm, so it's not as bright. It's coming, it's, it's kind of smoothing out. I'll move on. Um, this one is the Amber Platine. And I don't think I ever... It's not, well, okay, um, it's it's not as strong as I would like it to be, but there is something nutty, something nutty here, nutty and sweet. Um, I might have to try it on a day that I'm not smelling so much at, at, at one time um, to get a real feel for it, but this one is the Iris. I don't think this has developed that much. I still smell it the same way. Powdery. Hmm. A little bit woody. Okay. Um, I think this one was, oh, this one was the leather fragrance, the queer, queer. Ooh, still the same. That is a smoky leather. Smoky leather, but you know what? I don't, it's not for me. This is definitely not for me. But it's interesting. And I can't say that if somebody was around me wearing this one that I wouldn't want to kind of be close to them. For me, this is masculine. Um, smoky leather. Hmm. It smells nice. Not for me, though. Um, this was the rose incense. Mm -mm, I don't think this one is for me either. It still has that plasticky vibe. 
I don't know what that is. Rose. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to, um, is that all? Is that all of them? Yeah. Oh, the Oud. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. I don't know about the Oud. Actually, I do know. I don't like the Oud at this point. Mm -mm. No, that's not for me at this point. So I, I'm going to continue to try these fragrances out. Um, and I'm going to do them um, individually so that I can get a real feel for what that particular fragrance smells like. Because some of them I don't feel like I'm picking up the way that um, is intended. And so I want to let them shine. So I'm going to spray them individually um, and figure out which ones that I like. Um, but so far, it, I... The, the Santal Sugar is not something I would buy. Um, I would be leaning more toward the, um, uh, what is it? The Ambro, the Nectar Cachet. I think of Ambrosia. I would be, th I would pick up the Nectar Cachet. If I had to pick one at this moment, that would be the one that I pick up. So I hope you guys had a little fun with me trying these, um, these samples. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Love Jay. Bye-bye.